Hey everyone, in this video we'll be creating a day and night cycle along with a UI clock that stays in sync with the in-game lighting. And as a bonus feature, we're going to be adding a system that lets you match your in-game time to time zones like France, Japan, or Italy. So let's get started. Open up Starter GUI and add a Screen GUI. Rename the Screen GUI to Day and Night. Inside of Day and Night, add a text, no, add a frame. And then inside of the frame, add a text label. Inside of the frame, go to Background Transparency and set that to zero. Inside the text label go to background transparency and set that to 0.6 and the background color is going to be a gray now move the GUI down to the left corner or anywhere you would like feel free to move it and then you're going to be going to text label and add a UI stroke and duplicate that actually we need two and a UI corner. Good. Now, set one of the UI strokes to contextual and then one of them to border. And then for the border, the thickness is gonna be two. And for UI stroke for contextual, it's just gonna be one. Now the text label, we're gonna go down to the text itself and set the text size to 60 and make sure the text is scaled and then text color is going to be a white and for the UI stroke with the text you can change the thickness to make it look a little better and we're actually going to make it a 3 for the UI stroke for the border and then now finally we're going to be adding or changing the name of the text to 00, zero colon zero, 00. Okay. Next, we're going to go inside of the text label and add a local script. And let's start with setting up local start time. So local start time equals 6. Now, the local start time is going to be our variable for what time the sun or position the sun is going to be starting at. So 6 is referring at 6 a.m. Then you're going to go to local player equals game dot players dot local player and then you're going to do local player GUI equals player colon, hold up, player colon wait for child, parentheses, and then quotation marks, player GUI. Then you're going to go do and game dot lighting dot clock time equals start time. So the clock time is going to equal to start time and then we're going to add on to that to move the sun. And to do that, we're going to do two more variables and then we're actually going to do the function that runs the movement of the sun and updates the UI. Next you're going to do local cooldown equals 0 0.01. Now to change the speed of which the sun moves, you can change local cooldown to be 0 0.1 to make it extremely fast or 0 0.01 
the farther away from the decimal, the slower it gets. So we're going to do 0 0.001 and then local time speed. We're going to put that there. Equals 0 0.001. And then that's also the same thing. It's just going to change the speed at which things happen. So the closer to the decimal, the faster things get. And the farther away from the decimal, the slower things are going to become. So while true, do. Man, I keep misspelling true today. I don't know what that is. Uh, while true, do wait, cool down. And then you're gonna go outside of the parentheses, make a few more lines, and then do game dot lighting dot clock time. And then you're gonna do plus and then equals time speed. Next you're gonna do local hour equals math dot floor parentheses game dot lighting dot clock time and then the ending parentheses and then you're going to do percent and then space 24 next you're going to do local minute equals math dot floor Parentheses, game. Actually, there's gonna be two parentheses for this one. Game dot lighting dot clock time minus hour, and then right outside in between these two parentheses right here, you're gonna do times sixty, and for the times. You just do shift and press the button eight. Okay, next we're gonna go with the AM and PM part. So you're gonna go down a few more lines and then you're gonna do local suffix equals AM. And then if hour is greater than or equal to 12, then suffix then suffix equals p m oh and whenever you do then you have to go suffix equals p m and then end i don't know why i didn't add the end for me that's okay and then next we're doing local display hour display hour equals hour percent then 12 if display hour equals equals zero then display hour equals 12 and then end that then we're going to do the last part of the script local time string equals string dot format and then pay close attention here you're going to do quotation percent d colon percent oh I already messed up um, it's gonna be percent D colon percent zero two D and then space percent s so this is the display hour then the minute and then we have the suffix and then you're going to do, after the quotation mark, a comma, display hour, then minute, then suffix. OK. 
Okay, and then last but not least, player GUI dot day and night day and night dot frame dot text label dot text equals time string. Okay, let's test it out by clicking play. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, we need to make sure that we actually have the UI showing up. Um, so you're gonna go to Auto Scale Light. If you don't already have it, the link to the plugin is gonna be in the description. Uh, unit conversion for the frame, scale, and size. And then for the screen GUI, scale, and size, and text label, scale, and, and scale. There you go. Now it will appear. Yep. so we have 6 a.m. And it moves. And then if you actually go to the lighting, you can see that the clock time matches what it is showing here. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna use the same script, but just change a few things. You're gonna get rid of start time. Wait, no, okay, yeah. Get rid of start time, and then keep these two up here. Get rid of line four, which is game.lighting.clocktime equals start time. We do not need that. Uh, local cooldown is the only thing we're gonna keep right here. And that's going to be equal to one. And then we're going to be getting rid of game.lighting.clock time equals time speed because we don't need that. We're going to keep this right here. And all of this right here is going to be kept. This is going to be replaced. Okay. Local UTC. equals OS dot data. Oh wait, no, actually OS dot date. My bad. And then you're gonna do quotation. And then times and then T. Okay. Then do local real hour so we changed the just the hour to real hour but we can use hour in this one so we're just going to use hour equals parentheses utc dot hour plus two and then percent 24 this little part is what you change. So you're gonna be changing the plus two, so you can be like minus eight, plus two. So plus two is the France time, and then I'm just using France for this example. And then you can change, I think minus 10 is Hawaii. But again, I'm gonna put a picture right now. Feel free to pause, so that way you can see all the time zones. Okay, to continue. You're gonna do local minute equals UTC dot min. Okay. Now, if you click play, it's gonna be the real time inside of France. So it is 1243 in France right now, at least for me. But I need to fix the, the sun's position because that did not get fixed. Oh wait, I forgot to ask, uh, add something. Um, under here, you're gonna go with game dot lighting dot clock time plus no 
equals real hour. So I forgot we're just doing the hour. Um, plus parentheses minute divided by 60. Now it will work. There we go. It's 1243 in Paris right now. And this is what it looks like. All right, well, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials. And for the next three months, I mean, I've been slacking lately. I haven't been getting much tutorials out for y'all. And I really wanna get back into the tutorial. So we're gonna be doing 20 videos, 20 brand new tutorials. Uh, make sure to comment some ideas down in the description. I'm in the comment section below. And uh, make sure to subscribe as well. And thank you.